Okay, so I wanted to share some really exciting news, which is that this book on category theory that I've been writing for the last year has finally just been published. So I wanted to show you what this book is like on YouTube, because I think a lot of people who've enjoyed my category theory for beginners course might get a lot out of this book. So I co-authored this book with Naman Gupta, who's a very talented young mathematician from India. And we really had a lot of fun writing this book. Now, one of the main things we've really put a lot of focus into is making lots and lots of full colour diagrams of all sorts of ideas from category theory, because we both feel that the visual aspect of category theory is really important. And it's really important to see pictures of all of these kind of mathematical concepts. So this book actually has over 250 different colour images in it. And the idea of the book, the structure of it, is that within the first four chapters, we try to explain the sort of really intuitive sides of category theory. So the idea is that this is a book that doesn't have any prerequisites. And over the first four chapters, you can really gain a lot of intuition for general category theory, even if you don't know anything about it to start with. But then after those four chapters, the rest of the book is more focused on providing rigorous results, proper definitions and theorems and proofs and so on. And so you can really use this book to learn about lots of really advanced topics in category theory. So we talk a lot about limits and adjoint functors, topos theory and the mitchell benabau language and categories of presheaves and so on. And so if you're enjoying this category theory for beginners course, you might find that this book provides a really nice kind of more theoretical companion to this series of videos. Because I think for some of the more technical aspects of category theory, it is good to have a kind of written document. And I sometimes think it's quite good to have something printed like this that you can take away from a computer so that you can study category theory in a more leisurely way. So you can buy a copy of this book for yourself by following the links to the Amazon store within the description of this video. And I believe that this book will be really useful for learning category theory. And also, if you did buy a copy, that would really be supporting this channel as well.